I'm up here picking up my race pack now. Quite a nice atmosphere here, not super crowded yet. Uh, apparently every year there are about 7,000 people who sign up, or at least a few thousand. Very nice weather today, it's sunny. It's very interesting, first time experience for me. I've never done any event uh, besides Tour de Bintan in 2012. And then just over 10 years later, I'm here in France doing a real cycling event. And it feels very different, the atmosphere is great. As I was going up, I realized that the Alp is really steep. People have said that it is steep, but I have never realized how steep it is until I actually drove up by myself and saw it for myself. After the drive up, I'm actually a bit scared. Not even nervous, but scared because it is really steep. Starting to question myself why I decided to sign up for this. It's 186 kilometers with 5,530 meters of elevation. The guys who participate in this all look like pretty serious cyclists. Serious as in like they ride every day and this kind of terrain is just what they have in their backyard kind of vibes. For me, my aim is to complete it. As long as I complete it, I'm happy already. Um, and if I don't manage to complete it, then there's always the broom wagon which is how I console myself and how I convince myself to sign up for this. Just thought that after training hard for about three years or so, I should try out a real event and see how it goes just for the experience because I don't think that in the future I'll be able to do it. Most people here seem to have come with their friends or at least uh, another partner so they're pretty well supported. Well, I'm here alone so fully self-supported but we'll see how it goes. Good morning from La Mamotte. We are headed to our first climb now. So far, everything is quite calm. Everyone's just conserving energy at the back, trying to save up the energy for the climbs. Didn't sleep too well last night. The room was a bit warm and I was also a bit nervous, but this is quite an experience so far. Less than halfway up the first climb, passing through a small village now. Legs are still feeling okay at the moment because I read that you shouldn't go too hard at the start. So I've been trying to keep my heart rate below 150, just taking it as easy as possible. I'm so glad I brought the 36 chain ring with the 34 in the back.
been riding for two and a half hours now. Just reached the first speed station at kilometer 39. It's quite crowded. The air up here is significantly thinner. I was definitely feeling a little bit like I was struggling on the way up. Heart rate was quite high, but the power output wasn't there. Legs are still okay for now, but the body is very tired. It was very difficult uh, up the climb. There was barely any break because it's just steep 8 to 10% gradients all the way. So there's pretty much no respite to spin the legs. It is absolutely chaotic here. It took me about 10 minutes to get some food. And then I spent another 5 to 10 minutes eating, filling up my bottles. So now we're ready to go again. First, enjoy the view a little bit. an irony. Cyclists come to such a beautiful place to suffer. The nice scenery definitely does help to take away the pain though. Temperature is slowly going up, 26 now. Getting a bit warm but when I considered doing this event I was also thinking even though I don't have any mountain roads at home to train on my big advantage would be in the heat because I'm used to it. 26 degrees and sunny that would be a cool morning at home. the gradient is always a little bit tricky on camera even on TV it's difficult to appreciate how steep the gradient really is it's been unrelentless like seven eight nine ten percent all the way aside from the descent but I guess if you see the way some people are riding you get a good sense of how steep it actually is almost at the summit of the second climb now the cold doom mollard This is the second of three descents that are neutralized for today because they don't want people to be charging down the mountain. So a lot of people are taking the opportunity to like feed and stock up. Okay. That was the rest stop at kilometer 90. We had a, quite a nice bit of flat prior to that, but everybody was quite sluggish. I think it's like the mid afternoon slump and also the sun is really quite hot nobody really wanted to push but now we have 12k to the telegraph and then another 16k from there to the Galibier. four hours and 40 minutes in somewhere around halfway through assuming uh, i'm around 10 hours to complete legs are still feeling quite okay i don't know how they'll feel after the next two big climbs but those are supposed to be the biggest but what i've been trying to do up until this point is mainly to control my effort and conserve energy because i heard that these two will be the toughest of the whole road, of course, and then there's Elduez at the end. We made it to the top of the telegraph. That is only the third summit out of six for today. We still have to go up three more. Some people are quite um, gone and some have decided to get some proper food at the top. Finally reached kilometer 109. This is a refuel stop before the Galibia climb. I really need some food now. I can feel the bong coming. And I felt a twitch in my leg just now so I don't know if the cram is coming soon or what.
got myself some Coke and biscuits and some bananas as well. So throughout this whole time, I've been trying to keep on top of my nutrition, but the fatigue is definitely still setting in. You can feel it. Thankfully, sometimes all you need is just some food and a break. And then we're good to go again. Trying to subsist for a 10 hour ride with just gummies definitely is not enough. The whole foods help a lot for sure. After this, we have 16k of Galibier climb, which I'm told is steep and exposed. And one of the hardest of this event so far. Nearly 2,000 meters up now, and my Wahoo says it's 35 degrees. <sighs> Pretty naked, man. I'm not sure if it's the heat or the altitude, or maybe it's just both. The morale of my fellow Grand Fondoists or Grand Fondlers also doesn't look very good. Before I came on this trip, there were some people who told me, Oh, you know what? Don't worry, just enjoy the ride. <sighs> well, when I'm up here, it's kind of hard to enjoy. Just thinking, why did I sign up for this? I want to go home. How long more do we have? I'm tired. But you know what the stupidest thing of it all is? Next year, if I have time, and I have the opportunity, I'll probably end up signing up for this again. Well done. Type 2 fun, I heard it's called. We enjoy the suffering. While we're in it, we complain. And then we go make ourselves do retarded things like this. Kilometer 145 and something unfortunate has happened. Apparently I got a puncture and the sealant has been trying hard to seal but in the end I lost pressure so now I'm trying to reinflate the tire. Okay so I tried to pump it up and this is the cause which doesn't seem to be sealing that well but let's give it some time and see whether it works or not. I made it to up to S just in time for the cutoff. So in the end, I shoved the tube in and I had to chase back for a bit because there was a possibility that I would not make the time cut off. But I'm glad I made it. So I'm on the climb now. Finally made it. Official time is 12 hours, 57 minutes and 43 seconds. I didn't film anything on the way up because I was just on pure survival mode. I was struggling to even push the pedals towards the end already. I just tried my best to stay upright. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Recording. Well, uh, have to. I have never felt so broken from a ride in my whole life. Wow, and now we're gonna get some pasta. 
Feels good to finally have some proper food. So a little bit of a debrief. I guess uh, one thing I did well was I finished the race in one piece. That was my main goal and the most important thing from the start. The one thing I didn't do so well probably is uh, didn't meet my goal of enjoying myself. I mean sure maybe I'll enjoy it tomorrow but um, this is really some sort of uh, type 2 fun. I only suggest you do it if you enjoy <coughs> inflicting pain on yourself and suffering. Would I do it again? Probably not. But then again next year I don't know man. Suddenly I have some time and I click a button and oh, I'm here again. Yeah, it was really the hardest ride of my life and climbing the last part of the Alp was the most painful thing. My legs were just paddling squares already and I haven't felt that in a long time. Okay, time to go back and uh, wash up. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.